Hello, so we're back in this time. We have a, you know, like a classic HP laptop to repair. Can be a nice laptop, not sure about that. Let's see about the fold. So the fold with this laptop is taking 1.7 amps. So this job is coming from a local uh, computer shop. Testing, shuts down. So check that, it is charging fine. It's taking 1.7 amps, so we do have the charging light. Pressing the power button, is coming to like 2.5 amps and it's shutting down. So why this happen? Hmm? Again, pressing the power button, coming on, then it's going off. Caps lock is not working and shut down again. So we don't know what is the problem. We have to fix it. Let me quickly open the laptop and uh, let's have a look inside. Can be this like a like a frozen ECG problem? Can be. But you know the job is coming from a local repair shop, so uh, I believe they tried to reset the BIOS already. And the back cover is removed. Wait, the fan is spinning. Check here. Oh, let's plug the charger and check one more time. So plug in the charger. 2.5 amps and it's going off. So actually switching by itself on? No. Pressing the power button. Yeah, it is coming on. The fan is spinning. We do have the light here. And then it's switching off. You know what? This looks like, you know, like a corrupted EC chip. Let me disconnect the battery just to be sure. Just to be sure. So the battery is disconnected. That means we reset the EC chip. So the EC chip, it will be forced to load the firmware again from the BIOS. Plug in the battery back. Let's see. The laptop is coming on by itself. Nah, it's not working. Pressing the power button. Nah, it's switching off. So yeah, definitely they try. Uh, the trial ready to reset the BIOS. Fun spinning. Um, let me try to power on. And it's going off. This is not a RAM issue. Let me try with my RAM. My RAM, pressing the power button, 2.5, then it's going off. No. Okay, it's not a RAM problem. Liquid damage. Can you spot anywhere liquid damage? There's something here, but not sure what it is. Uh, let's check under the microscope. Let's see what we have there. No, it's no liquid damage. No, it's looking good. Huh? What is that? I mean, yeah. You know what? You know what is this? I think, I think are the data lines from the battery. So you have to dial to ground. Another two dials, then capacitor, then resistors, can be the data lines from the battery. Here we have some liquid damage. On the M2 drive, no, nothing. Here, so check here, yeah? Here we have some damage, but this is not important. This is the main power rail. And, uh, but one second, actually the battery it is charging with 1.7 amps, so... That's not a problem, the liquid from the next to the battery. This one is not a problem because we have, check on the screen, 19 volts. So the capacitor are good. That's not a problem. Here, 
kitty is fine. Huh? No, it's okay. No, okay, so not sure what we should do. I mean, the only thing, here you have some liquid damage, but just a little bit. Uh, this is some uh, USB-C data thingy. Nothing, and here you have 3.3, .3, so here is fine again. Here you have some liquid damage. You know what, let's try and clean where we see seen liquid damage, just to be sure that's not a problem. Okay, so here, we clean it. Then we have here a little bit, then here. Uh, check that connector, check that connector, huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, a faulty lead sensor can give us this kind of uh, behavior. Here we have some damage, but not that, not that bad. Perfect. Let's plug this back. Yeah. Then I said here, Good. Keyboard connected, but just a little bit. Check there. A little bit there. And that's fine. Here on the capacitor, but that's not really important. And that's all. I mean, we clean everything. Yeah. Let's test it one more time. So plug in the battery. Let me plug the charger. Plug in the charger. Pressing the power button. Coming on, 2.5, same like before. And it's on. It's, it's not going off. No, it's not going off. Goes off. Because probably we reset the BIOS. Now it's coming back on by itself. Wait, I just seen now. Huh? It's working. Enter to reboot the system. Yeah. It's working, the keyboard is working also, but here we have some liquid damage, you can see. We fix it. Yeah, we have picture. Uh, I will shut down. Let's have a look here. Let's see what's going on here. Yes, yeah, so or actually, actually here are the mouse buttons. And it is a little bit of liquid damage. Let's clean it. This one and this one. Yeah, perfect. Now let's test one more time. Pressing the power button, and it is coming on. You see, just a little bit of uh, of water can give you like a lot of problems. And I think the issue was actually on the connector on that uh, ribbon cable. Yeah, we have picture. Touchpad is working. The mouse pad, yeah, working. Yeah, all good, all good. Can't believe, can't believe actually that was the issue. Easy, easy pizza, huh? Easy pizza. You see, just think, yeah, this laptop is coming from a computer shop. Probably they checked, but you can't see with the naked eye. You can't see actually just, you know, a little bit of liquid damage. You can't see it. A microscope, it's a, it's, it's a very good investment. 
I can't, I can't even imagine how, how I fixed the laptop so long without a microscope. Because the microscope, uh, I started using it like only a few years ago. I mean, probably you can fix without a microscope, but, you know, having a microscope, you increase your chance uh, to repair laptops. Let's test it one more time. This is the custom RAM memory. Well, it's working. Okay, perfect. I'm going to stop now. Um... It's always a good idea to inspect the motherboard, like, you know, like a proper inspection to see any kind of, uh, if there is any kind of liquid damage, liquid or water damage. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Also, thank you for watching, you know, like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.